It had been five months of the most horrific warfare in Earth's history. A war in which rivers of blood flowed in trenches for a few yards of advancement. A cold modern war born from ancient nationalist hatred. A war which saw the introduction of awesome technological weapons. The machine gun, the armored tank, nerve gas. And yet, on December 24th, 1914, German, British, and French soldiers climbed out of their trenches to meet in no man's land to peacefully celebrate Christmas. They sang Christmas carols, exchanged cigarettes and autographs, posed for pictures, buried their dead. The silence remained throughout Christmas Day. In the following three years, nearly eight million would die. And less than two decades later, the same armies would be engaged in the greatest loss of human life in history. The world had never seen anything like it before. And 149 years later to the day, it's impossible to imagine ever seeing it again. much for the thrusters. Hey, 
Good flying. You did the right thing. Home base, this is wild cards. Come in. Repeat. Home base, this is wild cards. Come in. Radio's dead. No, man, we got a Mayday after they got hit. Where's the communications officer? Over, Over there. there. Left. Right. You got a Mayday from the 58? Yes, sir. I confirmed they received our signal, but they never responded. Transmitter could have been damaged. Or there could have been no one left to respond. I want your radio receiver's log. Get me the 58th last known position. Do it! Inform Commodore Ross, I want 10 SAR teams formed immediately to be deployed in 30 mics. Aye, aye sir. Four out of 10 momentum wheels are down. Main propulsion system's inoperable. Partial pressure O2 sensors at 24 kilopascals. Main onboard computer. He's singing with Elvis. We're dead. Without a computer, we're on our own. I guess it won't be the first time. Damn Foose radio. Left high gain antenna damage is nominal. I think I get on it. Right. Fuel cell damage. Extensive. Solar arrays are inoperable. Fuel cells, secondary batteries were low when the dogfight started. We're going to have to shut down some electrical systems in order to save power for cabin air, thermal control, the radio if it's working. Without propulsion, we won't need telemetry, navigation. But if we're getting home, it looks like someone's gonna have to find us. Make it happen. Twelve minutes after midnight. It's Christmas. Wild cards, this is Queen Six. Wildcards, this is Queen Six. Queen Six, this is Wildcards. Queen Six, this is Wildcards. Wildcards, this is Queen Six. Respond. Queen Six, this is Wildcards. Queen Six, this is Wildcards. No response, sir. And the TDRS system confirms our signal has been received. Have it pinpoint the location of the signal reception. The Lincoln tracking satellite was taken out in a firefight. So what you're saying is they can hear us, but we can't hear them. Sir, just because a signal is being received doesn't mean there's anyone around to receive it. They're out there. I can feel them. We believe your radio to be in receive-only mode. We are presently conducting search and rescue operations in the Procyon system. I know you're out there. Hold on. Don't lose faith. We're not in the Procyon system. We're far from it. We got knocked out in the firefight. We're dumping in the river. That must be Hogg's way of trying to say that we're up a creek without a paddle. Why, well, he's almost right. If we were on Earth... Our ship would seem to be going through the Eridanus constellation, a river of stars. When I was a kid, in the winter, it'd get dark real early. On my way home from basketball practice, I'd see Eridanus in the sky. It gave me comfort to see it return every year. 
to know some things never went away. We're gonna go away, we can't do something. If Wang knows our position, if we can send out a bi-static LIDAR flare. If they find it, they'll know our actual position. BLF canisters are fired out of pulse cannons. We haven't the power. Look, we could drop it out of the airlock. It's better than nothing. It isn't better than nothing. Our position is beyond the Von Braun line. We're in no man's land, falling towards enemy territory. A flare will just announce our presence to the Chigs. Colonel, you've requested 10 SARs to search for the 5 8 in the Procyon region. Yes, sir. That area was just subjected to an intensive aerial engagement, one from which I heavily armed ships were forced to retreat. I cannot dispatch 10 lightly they armed... They sent 5, or... sir. The battleship Charles Lacey Beach is under attack. We have been ordered to provide all possible... Then send 1, sir. I'll fly it. Colonel, searching for them with a hundred ships in that vast region of space is the equivalent of trying to find a specific drop of water in the Mississippi River. As long as I know that drop is there, sir, I'm going to try to find it. You can have three ships. No fighter support. And the first sign of any chicks, they ought to get the hell out of there. Aye, aye. Thank you, sir. Cabin temperature is dropping. Secondary power is running low, that's why. If I were at home in New York tonight, we'd all be around the fireplace right now. At this rate, in a couple hours, we'll be below freezing. McQueen. that old TV show or one guy's like a bat and the other one's like a bird. I like that show. Wow, I guess we caught a lucky break. A good TV show before drifting off into eternity. <laughs> if we ever get home, we should chip in and get McQueen a good therapist. It's not McQueen. Television signals have been inadvertently beamed into space since the 1940s. We're probably just intercepting it. This is it. not scouts. Maybe they wouldn't be home for Christmas. Must have taken us for dead. No. They're like a cat that's got a mouse by the tail. Coop's right. I don't know why they took off, but they'll be back. Jigs always finish the job. I know this is weird, but under these circumstances, I don't want to not do it, and I don't want you guys to feel weird about it, all right? I have been hiding them in here, so I just happen to have them. Shane, I don't know what to say. You shouldn't do this. I just happen to have them. It's no big deal. Just pretend that there's a big Christmas tree with lights and dinner cooking in the kitchen and a big bag for the wrapping paper, and we are far from this dark, cold box, and it's safe and warm. The Who's in Whoville are singing Dahu Dore, Dahu Dore. Just open them. Yeah, 
I, I wish you could have been a necklace or something, but we are light years away from home, and that's all they had in the Saratoga PX. Shane, it's beautiful. Thank you. They're engraved. To Foose. Hoo ya! Christmas 2063. It'd be an honor to stab a chick with this. Nathan, you're hard to buy for. You don't have too many interests outside of Kylan. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have put it that way. Well, let's face it, Nathan is a little different from the rest of us. You, Wang, Winslow, we all joined the Corps because we want it to be. Life takers and heartbreakers. Coop, he was sentenced to the core, but he's got it in him. West doesn't have it in him. <laughs> oh, yes, he does. And he's got a lot more than that. Nathan is not just some guy pining away for his girlfriend. She's become his faith, something that he would die for because he believes it's right. Are you going to open yours, Coop? What's it for? It's a Christmas present. Yes, I, um, I never told you guys this, but I kind of took off from the in vitro educational facility before they taught us stuff like this. So all I know about Christmas is that there was one day out of the year in Philadelphia that everything was closed and it was a headache. And it was lonelier than usual. Coop. Christmas is the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. Actually, it's the continuation of the Roman festival of Saturnalia. Jesus of Nazareth was born on September 15th, 7 BC. It's Nazareth and Christ. Now, who are those guys? It's one guy. And he was born in Bethlehem. A star directed three wise men from the east who believed the Son of God had been born. And this star was actually a rare alignment between Jupiter and Saturn, or possibly a supernova, or maybe even a comet. He was conceived of the miracle of Immaculate Conception. His mom and dad didn't do it. The myth of Immaculate Conception. Are you like an in vitro? You gonna open your present, Paul? Shane, it's, uh, it's really nice of you to do this, but I, uh, I can't take this. It's just, uh, I really don't believe in it anymore. I never stopped my family from opening gifts. Well, it stops me. Paul, you cross yourself before every mission. It's superstition. It's habit. It's, it's, it's like my Chicago Bears t-shirt. Did something happen to make you feel this way? With all the death we've seen in the last six months, the things I've done, how can you believe in all this garbage? Shut it off! Shut it off! Oh. It's frozen! How the fuck's the breaking? What? Decrease O2 into control valve to 400 kps. <laughs> Get those pipes secured now! Maybe some warm water. Look, even if we had hot water, it'd only cause these pipes to crack more. But it's coming off the hard way, Kelcher. Coop. Yeah! It's all right, Tom. We probably lost about two hours of O2 supply just now. More. Everyone is to limit their movement. I know it's probably impossible, but some sleep would help. Yeah. That way we don't see the chicks come. I'll pull watch on the radio. Oh, no, it's okay. It's just... 
Just that you got me something makes me feel good. Oh, Coop. You may have run away from that in vitro facility, but you do know what it's all about. Six is SAR-1. We got a negative on any sighting of the 58th, visual or LIDAR. Permission to sweep area 300K MSKs from site of dogfight? Roger that, SAR-1. Colonel, here's the optical disc you requested. Queen Six to Wild Cards. This is your interstellar disc jockey, Colonel McQueen. There's a little something I'd like you to hear. It occurred 95 years ago last evening. It's a message to Earth from the first men to orbit the moon. And it's not my Christmas present. That'll be to get you home. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the Earth. And the Earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. Let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament. And divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning was the second day. God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place. And let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth. And the gathering together of the waters called these seas. God saw that it was good. And from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth. A comet. And it's approaching at an angle in a direction that's on a direct path with this ship. How did you know it was there? I don't know. numbers mean anything to the star charts? Sorry, Colonel. We lit a little off-duty Christmas Eve party in the astronomer's quarters. Some corporal tried to make scotch out of his aftershave, and these charts are all looking like nothing but a bunch of white dots. There are men and women out there who will never have the chance to have a hangover again if you don't get those white dots focused. 
Did you locate the source of the transmissions? There are not many frequencies used by the armed forces, even classified frequencies. And the Morse code, it's weird. It's like broken English, like someone who doesn't quite know it. All our pilots and crew know it inside and out. Could be a distress signal. Any reports of civilian activity in the Procyon region? You'd be looking in the wrong area. These coordinates indicate the position of the comet Yanelli Wimberley. That's closer to Epsilon Eridanus. A short burn from the main engine could take us out of its path. Well, we run the risk of tumbling again with no thrusters to stabilize. This code is weird. I'm telling you guys, it was really weird. It's like I could feel, even through the radio, that the sender wasn't human. Are you sure you recorded it correctly? Look, everybody's exhausted. Okay, we're freezing. What do you mean? What, did I get it right? There's a comet barreling down on us. We wouldn't know about it if I didn't get it right. Wanger, why don't you... Let me take a shift on that radio. I'm fine. Hey, take a break, Paul. I'm fine. Take a break, Paul. Wild cards, this is Queen Six. As your position remains undetermined to us at present time, we're reporting the presence of a comet bearing 89 degrees by 15 degrees Zero Niner in the Eridanus region. See? They intercepted the same signal. Think it could be an enemy trap? A trap? They would have blown us out of the sky when they flew by us. Maybe they just wanted to save their missiles and let this comet do the work. 5A. We're still out there searching. Don't let down. I've, uh, got a message here from the Commodore. I won't insult you by wishing you a Merry Christmas, 5A. I'll say it to your faces when you return. Now, this may not be proper conduct for a commander, but given the circumstances, I, uh, and no, I am not drunk. language rudimentary is as if Einstein were trying to explain relativity to a child give me a minute Telemetry data, orbital mass, ISSCV mass, speed, pitch, yaw, azimuth. These are directions on how to get trapped into an orbit of the approaching comet. It's trying to tell us how to hitch a ride. What good would that do? Well, it's heading away from enemy territory. In fact, back towards the Saratoga. We could drop a BLF canister once we got into friendly territory. Can it be done? Asteroids and comets have been known to have orbiting satellites, but if we follow these signals, we'll be going on complete faith. What needs to be done? 
It would require an approximate 56 second burn from the main left engine. Less than 56 seconds, we'll miss the comet's gravitational range. Fly deeper into Chig territory. More than 56 seconds will take us right into the comet. Hey, we're gonna get nailed by it anyway. And the one thing is, or the primary one thing is, the engine can't be fired in its current position. So much for that. Well, we could try to manually adjust its position. That would require an EVA. We've only got one suit with 15 minutes O2 supply. I'll do it. I've EVA'd before. It's my idea. We don't know whose idea it was. Wang goes. Why Wang? I have faith in him. I want you to have this, Paul. Nathan, I... I can't. You all said it yourselves. It means more than just a photo tag now. You could use it. Let's do it. Twelve minutes. Mechanisms jammed. Eight minutes.
like to dispatch a Navy LC with a squadron of SA-43s to the Comets region. You and I both know where that signal originated. It's an enemy transmission, sir. Probably disinformation. They're aware we're conducting a search and rescue. That's why the fighter escort for the rescue vehicle, sir. Why doesn't one of us come out and say what we're afraid these signals could be? Setting up an ambush? Presenting us with a gift. I wouldn't bet on that. But I do believe it is something to go on toward finding the 58th. Dispatch the LC. And the 32nd Squadron to Comet Ganelli Wimberley. Comet 72,000 kilometers and closing. Bearing 759er. Roger that. Main port engine pressure is at 80%. We are go for burn. Reset the flight clock. It's crucial we have a burn time of 56 seconds. Roger that. Less than that, we miss it. More than that, we're all gonna have a hell of a headache. We're reissuing partial power here. Telemetry and guidance are history. This whole thing's offline. We're gonna have to fly manual. Don't worry, I'll guide you. Or anyway, the stars will. Ninety seconds to burn. Thirty-five mics. Depletion of N two O two supply. Let's worry about that at two mics. Eighty seconds. Seventy seconds. seconds and when I shall die take him and cut him out in little stars and he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night and pay no worship to the garish sun thank you Shane Forty seconds. Okay, let's get lit. Thirty seconds to ignition. Yaw axis ten degrees. Pitch axis twenty. Twenty-four. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds to burn. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition. Steady. Sixteen degrees. Ten degrees. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Just two degrees by one degree. Forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight. Main engine off. It won't shut down. We're over. Any sign of the 58th? Nothing on the LIDAR. Hold! I got a visual. I got an incredible visual.
found him. Look, Foose, out there. An LC convoy. They got us. I thought we were dead when we burned too long. Me too. Until, of course, I saw the actual lapse burn time, and then I knew it'd be all right. I've never done this before. All right, so I hope I got it right. Free tickets to the Saratoga bowling alley. There's a shoe rental, too. Did I do it right? Remember last week we all went to the lanes, everyone except Shane. Yeah. She thinks bowling's for dweebs. Damn. See, I gotta remember that stuff. She all take to me. Oh man. You did good. Think so? I try some hooch. It's pretty good. For some reason, it reminds me of shaving. Oh, I almost forgot. Merry Christmas, Paul. I don't deserve this. Are you talking about being a kid? And on the river, stars always be there in the sky. I knew you never lost your faith. That's what it is. Knowing something's always going to be there for you. From all of us, sir. Looks like I got two gifts. Watch your hands, watch your hands.